This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place. This is the E911 Talk Podcast, episode 100, for Monday, August 24th, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, product line manager for emergency services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. For my 100th podcast, I wanted to do something very special, or at least have a special guest. So today, I invited Martha Beyer to join me on the podcast, and I'll let her give you her title because I don't want her to sue me if I mess it up. Hi, Mark. Thank you so much for inviting me to be on this special podcast. Congratulations and best wishes for another 100, let alone 1,000. Thanks very much. My title is attorney and telecom consultant. And having known you for over the years, definitely someone who you want to keep on your good side from the attorney perspective, but also a lot of good tips from the telecom side as well. Well, thank you. So I was going through my email the other day and I get this email blast in that says, brand new 911 white paper has been released. You've got to read this. And you know who wrote it? It would have been you. I did. And you did a a great job on it. So I want to congratulate you on that and we'll tell people where they can get that. But what I got out of this white paper was who needs to be involved in doing a 911 remediation project? Well, this is a very important question because issues of public safety tend to come up in an enterprise from any number of different vantage points. And for this reason, I think it's critical that all of those subgroups of the organization need to be involved. And and the list is is rather long. And it all seems obvious when you put it together, but it, it may not appear that way in the beginning. The other question is, of course, who's in charge, which is an issue that's way beyond what we're going to talk about. But it seems to me that the in-house people who need to be involved are the risk assessment people, IT, telecom, legal, human resources, and public safety. All of those people have a vested interest in how the system is designed, how it's implemented, and how it works. And then it seems to me that's probably not a 10-minute meeting. That's a series of meetings over a period of time so that all of those constituencies, each of which has its own particular area of interest, can get its point across. Now, once you've got the problem figured out inside of what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. The next step is to take that externally into public safety, right? Right. And that's really a multi-phase process as well. It's recommended that the way to do that is to call not using 911, call the local police chief or office, call the local fire people, call the other first responders and have them come in or go to them and sit down and discuss with them what information they need. Because at the end of the day, if someone has to call 911, you want to make it as easy as possible possible for the first responders to get there and to have the relevant information. I think that that's really an essential element. The second part of that is once you get the system and get it installed, you need to test it regularly also with providing advance notice and the keyword there is advance to those first responders so that they know it's just a test. But to have the system and not test it periodically is not necessarily a, a good way to spend the money. I mean, you need to check it not not every day, once a year, once every six months, whatever it is, to make sure that it's working the way it's intended to work. Well, yeah, and I I think you touched on a very interesting point, and that's what information does public safety need? So we talked about in a couple of podcasts ago, you know, the, the what I call my blue socks theory. 911, what's your emergency? I'm wearing blue socks. That's information I don't need. That doesn't make any difference. So you can get too granular with information or maybe not granular enough, but I don't think that an enterprise telecommunications manager is the right person to be making that decision of what that actually is. Or certainly not making that decision alone. Right. You need to know what, what what does the first responder need? Find out. It's not a hard thing to do. And the other part of that is, I think it also genders some goodwill between the first responders and the enterprise. Oh, yeah. Hey, they asked us. They cared what we thought. Exactly. I mean, they're there to do their job, and their job is to be able to come and help you in a time of need. What you're doing is you're providing them with something that will allow them to do your job. Correct. Do their job, actually. Do their, do their job, right. Exactly. This is a great white paper. There have been a lot of white papers recently published. Avaya put one out. This one covers it from a little bit of a different angle, and it's who needs to be involved in. Where can we download this white paper? It's available on thevoicereport.com, and it will be available at ccmi.com, as, right. as well as from this, the other source to get it is from 911 ETC. Great. Any parting words of wisdom for everybody before we we wrap up for today? Um, I would just say be inclusive. Bring everybody to the table to have this discussion. Somebody's got to be in charge. You need to have the discussion inside. It, it, It doesn't just belong to one constituency. It belongs to many. Fantastic. Thanks again. I really appreciate you coming on the podcast. Thanks for the invitation. And again, congratulations and best wishes for the next 100. Okay, will do. Thanks very much.
You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, product line manager for emergency services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency? This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN.